Samsung's devices have a special feature for many years and it is called Moods and Routines. If you've used this feature before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is for automation. We can find it in the settings menu and it has two different types of automation and we can do a lot with it. Before we begin, whoops. Please remember to subscribe. Yeah, you can do all of these things with just moods and routines. I will be showing you a lot more with what I do with my own devices. So it's going to be a bit more private, but I think that is the best way to show you guys how I use this feature and how I personalize it for me. Okay, so there are two different types of automation, like what we mentioned earlier. So as the name goes, modes and routines. There's one for modes and then another for routines. We have to start talking about the routines first. Essentially, it operates in an if conditions X are met, then do Y type of manner. If you remember the old S app called Locale from many years ago, then you will be familiar with this as well. While Locale still exists today as Locale X, it is not as powerful as modes and routines since it is not a system level application and lacks integration with many other apps and also things like S Pen and whatnot. There are a lot of conditions that we can set to, either by location, time period, Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth devices, app open, charging status, or just make it as manual as possible that we have to press a button to activate that routine. These are the conditions to make it trigger the task that we want it to do. And this is where we can set the list of things that we want it to do after those conditions are met. We can make it play music, send us a notification, a reminder, or turn off your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, mute the device, launch an app, change the brightness, change the wallpaper, all of that. If you can think of a task that you want to automate, then the routines can probably do it. We can even automate smart home stuff via smart things as well. Remember, smart things can communicate with products that are not made by Samsung as well, like my Yi lights that are in my room. I can make it to turn on automatically when I get home, change the colors at certain time and just whatever that I want. Since we have so many options, let me show you how I've been using these routines. On my phone, I have set the routine called Femtio and my configuration here is when I'm connected to the Studio Femtio Bluetooth speaker, then it will automatically change the volumes to these values and play music on YouTube Music. When I disconnect from the Bluetooth speaker, then change the volume back to what it was before the routine started and stop playing the music. It is as simple as that. I also want to show you this routine called home charging. I don't fast charge any of my devices and I limit the battery charge to only 80%. But when I'm traveling, I want to fast charge my device and have 100% battery. So I use this routine to automate that process as well. It's just real simple. And for those Genshin, Stario, and ZZZ players out there, remember to claim your daily rewards from the Hoyo Lab app. I automated this process so that it will automatically open the app at a specific time so that I can claim the rewards manually. We cannot automate the reward claiming process, but at least it opens the app for me. I definitely lied to you guys, but we'll get back to this later because I did find a way on how to automatically claim all of the rewards for us. For tablets, I have a different set of routines set up. We can make the routine to be manually executed like what we mentioned earlier. So for me, I have this routine on the Tab S10 Plus that changes between landscape and portrait mode when I press on that button. Actually, it's not a button, it's actually a widget um, just disguised as a application icon. This is impossible to do on the iPad shortcuts app, so that is why I really like moods and routines because it is just way more powerful than what Apple has to offer. Essentially, my schedule for the Do Not Disturb mode is technically a form of a routine, but it's just not housed within the Moods and Routine settings page. But we can actually take it even further. Just install GoodLock. Yes, GoodLock. Inside there, there is a module called Routines Plus, and this opens up a few more different options that can make me even more lazier than before. So once we install Routine Plus, we have more options. Within the conditions, we can set it to do tasks by pressing buttons. And that is why when I double press on this power button, Please remember to subscribe. It does this. And you should do it too, by the way, because it's just fun to mess with people. 
remember since the Galaxy Note 9, the S Pen is actually connected to the device via Bluetooth Low Energy and we can do some gestures that make the S Pen feel like a magic wand. Yeah, those gestures can also be used in routines as well. For me, I created this routine. When I move the S Pen left and right, it triggers a swiping macro, either swiping to the left or to the right. You might think that this is a simple routine and you might end up wondering, why the heck did I create this? Well, the answer is simple. I read books on the tablet. With this routine, I can just put the tablet somewhere further away, prop it up, and then I can just use the S Pen and remotely flip the pages. Yeah, that is how lazy I am. I just don't want to hold the tablet while reading the books because this tablet is actually kind of heavy. How I set it up though requires a bit of explanation. When GoodLock and Routines Plus are installed, we have the option to add S Pen actions and select what action we want it to trigger. Then we can add the action itself and in this case, it's a touch macro. We'll have to record the touch macro, so we will select no apps because if not, it will open the app before the macro happens. So then, when we're presented with this UI, I'll just open up whatever app that I want, hit record, do the action, and in this case, it's just a simple swipe, and then end the recording and save it. You can also set the delay before the macro starts and also add the number of repetitions that you want, which in this case, I'll just add a 50 millisecond delay and repeat once, meaning do the action once. Just select the newly recorded touch macro and save the routine. Next time when you do the S Pen action, it will automatically do that macro again. I mean, we can go 100% brain rot here by just adding these actions to swipe on TikTok or Instagram Reels. It will, however, show you this pop-up in the app and it just says that the app doesn't support this action. I can't find a way to actually disable it, so do let me know if you found a way on how to make it disappear. But otherwise, the macro just works flawlessly. Okay, since we're talking about macros, now it is time to talk about how I automate the entire process on claiming all of your daily rewards from the Hoyo Lab app. So technically, I set up a macro, but the macro is quite complicated. So I will show you all of the steps that I did here. And if you see a lot of repeated steps, that is because the Hoyo Lab will show you quite a lot of notifications within the app when you start it up. So what I did is to tap on some random space just to dismiss the notifications and we have to make the macro predictable so what i have to do is to quit the hoyo lab entirely every single time and then hit the globe button at the bottom left corner there a few times so when we get into this menu here we have to swipe all the way to the left side so that we can press on the first game and that is going to be ensuring impact i'm not sure if they're going to change the arrangement anytime but this is what we have right now. Tap on the check-in button to claim all your stuff and then tap on somewhere else just to dismiss the message and then press on the third game which is currently Zenlon Zone 0 then claim the gift once more and then press somewhere else once more to dismiss the message once more and then kill the app by literally swiping up enter multitasking mode and then swipe the Hoya Lab app away. So this is the entire macro process. It takes about 30 seconds. I think I can still optimize the macros a bit more, but I'm just surprised that it works. So yes, I did lie to you saying that I can't automate the process, but I eventually did show you how you can automate the process as well. So yay. Then comes modes. This is pretty much a simplified and guided version of routines as Samsung provided a few presets with recommended tasks for you to do. The settings are pretty much the same as routines, by the way. Once we configure these modes, we can switch them by either giving them a few conditions or just manually changing these modes by heading into the quick settings panel. Personally, I actually don't use the modes part at all since I know what I'm doing. So I just manually set up all of my automation on the routines section. I mean, both modes and routines are essentially the same thing, but with a different packaging, but I just prefer routines. And so that's all that we have to share with you in today's video about moods and routines. Let us know what are your favorite routines and how do you set them up? I'd like to know 
what you do with it and how creative you are in setting all of these up. Remember to... Please remember to subscribe. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Please remember to subscribe. Please remember to subscribe. <laughs>